university has been my home for about 60 years. Uh, it began in uh, 1952 when I entered as a medical student and uh, I spent four years, you know, very busy as a medical student here. They offered me a job, which was pretty incredible when you think about it. I hadn't done all that much, but uh, they, uh, that was so typical of the university uh, that they would uh, take a chance on somebody if they thought that he had uh, some fresh ideas. Dr. Evans, the head of the biochemistry department, he said, uh, oh, we'd like to have you on the faculty. And I said, well, that wasn't uh, really the question. <laughs> he said, well, you know, I think it might be the right answer for some reason that I'm not sure that I understand. I was confident that uh, there would be some role for me in research. In the beginning, I was very nervous about Proinsula, and I thought there must be, maybe th this is some kind of an artifact. Uh, maybe I'm making a mistake, maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong. But once we had the amino acid sequence of it, then there was no longer any doubt. Now, nowadays, uh, when uh, Proinsulin is made, human Proinsulin is made at the Lilly companies uh, by producing it in bacteria, purifying the protein, folding the protein to convert it to proinsulin with the correct disulfide bonds, and then to convert it to insulin, they use trypsin and carboxypeptidase B, uh, which we had published. I've had a wonderful life at the University of Chicago. Uh, and I think uh, this is a great honor to, uh, to, be, uh, to receive any sort of reward for having so much fun as I've had over the years uh, doing the work that I've done and, uh, is, is beyond my expectations almost. At this stage of my career, um, I still have many ideas, but they're all related to things that, are, that I regard as things that are I set out to do initially and haven't been completed. But for those who are looking at the future, choose something that you think is really something you can solve and just go for it. Mm -hmm.